All right guys, so welcome to another video about YU and Bhima, also known as the POCO X3 Pro. Now I've been gone for a week's time and since then a lot of new things have happened in the software world. One such thing is the MIUI SR based on China ROM. Now this particular ROM is based on Android 12. We're quickly going to install it in this particular video and we'll see what the new features are. I may or may not use this as my daily for a couple of days to tell you the complete review, but I'll definitely try gaming and if it's work, I will make a gaming review. Now do remember but the same video will be available in Hindi on our Hindi channel Phone Ops Hindi. And before we get into the details, you know what to do. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now let's see what we have here. We have MIUI SR which is compatible with YU and Bima and we're going to install this baby today. MIUI SR Quark is the nickname. CN means it is based on the China ROM. Android version here is 12. This has been updated recently on the 20th of November 2022. Now you do have download, screenshot, support, all those things and we're not going to cover any of those. But if we talk about the complete change log, it is going to be interesting because whenever somebody customizes a already stock operating system, they do make some meaningful changes and MIUI SR even on the Mi 11X and the Redmi Note 10 Pro has been known to give you a very, very good experience. Now, as you can see over here, there are a ton of things that they have changed. And of course, we're going to, you know, we're not going to read everything and bore you guys. But the important part is it's a hotfix build enforcing system read write decrypted safety net is passing by default which means despite being a China ROM you should be able to use banking applications and they have fixed NFC LED always on display now always on display is something I would not recommend you to use on this device because of course this is a POCO X3 Pro it comes with a LCD panel and it will eat into your battery life in day to day usage. Now SD card usage has been fixed and slow motion in camera I believe has been fixed. They have added ripple charging animation downgrade option app bounce. We'll see those when we actually use this ROM and a lot of additional fixes. So, so far this looked pretty good and right now we are on the POCO X3 Pro which is running MIUI 13.0.8 global stable. So we are absolutely stock. We have installed TWRP and I'll tell you the basics that are required in order to install this custom ROM. The first things first, a very, very basic requirement is your bootloader should be unlocked and you should have TWRP installed. A very, very important thing to take care of is make sure all the data on your device is backed up because when you install these kind of custom ROMs, we have to do a format, which means your pictures, music, videos, everything will be erased. So make sure you take care of that. Now, along with this, you need to also ensure that your phone's battery is more than 50%. You don't want to be in a situation wherein you're flashing a ROM and the phone switches off and probably it dies, especially with the POCO X3 Pro because this device is known to have issues. Now, once you've taken care of all of these things, you just need one file that is the ROM file to be copied to your phone's internal memory and you should be good to go. Now, one last piece of recommendation here would be if you are on MIUI, remove the MI account like sign out, remove your Google account, remove your lock screen, password, pin, pattern and reboot the device once. Now, once you've taken care of all of these, you're all good to go ahead and flash MIUI SR on your POCO X3 Pro. So in our case, we've already copied the file to the phone's internal memory. Let me quickly show you that. So as you can see, MIUI SR Quark Android 12 Bayou Hotfix this is the latest one and we are good to go. So we'll press and hold volume up and power till the time we see the POCO logo in order to boot into TWRP. Okay, now once you release the buttons, you can just wait for the device to boot into TWRP and that's what it is doing right now. Okay, now this is what will happen in case you don't remove your lock screen password. I am comfortable with this because my personal data is on the ICO 90 and not on the POCO X3 Pro. Anyways, you can enter your lock screen password here and it will still allow you to enter the TWRP recovery. Now at this point, I believe the brightness is a little low. So let me quickly go ahead and fix that for you guys. Okay, this looks better. Now the first thing to do is go to wipe, advanced wipe. We'll wipe selective partitions over here. So Dalvik data cache. Now remember not to wipe internal storage because that's where the ROM file is. So swipe to confirm wipe. 
Now go back to the main screen and click install and then look for the ROM file, click on it and swipe to confirm flash. Now, of course, this ROM is based on MIUI, so it will be around three to four gigabytes in size. And considering that we are on a smartphone powered by the Snapdragon 860, it will take 45 seconds to a couple of minutes. So I recommend just calm down, leave the phone alone, let it do its own thing, and you should be good to go. You can definitely keep an eye on the flash lock to ensure that you're not running into any errors. Let's wait for the ROM to flash completely. All right, now this was quicker than expected, but it does say cleaning successfully flash. There are a bunch of errors at the bottom, so you can go ahead and ignore them. Go back to the main screen, go to wipe, select format data. Now this is the part where you're gonna lose everything on your phone. So please make sure that you've done a backup. Now we're gonna type in yes over here and tick mark. Okay. So this is done. Now let's go to reboot and select system. Now MIUI being MIUI, the first boot can take up to two minutes, but these days things have improved. We immediately have the MIUI SR logo over here. So yes, the boot animation is definitely different than what it is on the stock ROM. So let's wait for it to boot. And there is a trick that has been working on MIUI ROMs since the Redmi K20 Pro days, is that if you're flashing a custom ROM based on MIUI, and it's taking a very long time to boot for the first time, you can actually force reboot it by long pressing the power button. And there you have it. See, these are the things that you will not get on the stock ROM. Just see how beautiful the boot animation is. It's completely different from what Xiaomi would offer you. Now, we'll quickly wait for say 45 seconds to a minute for this to boot up and then we will skip the setup part and we'll see what exactly is different on this particular ROM. All right, so we are on the setup screen. We're quickly going to skip all of this and I'll show you what exactly we see on the home screen when we boot for the first time. Okay, just like that, we are on the home screen. So let's quickly swipe and go to the home screen. And as you can see, this definitely has a different wallpaper. And I think it is based on one of the China betas. Now, one good thing here is you can already see that the entire user interface is themed like Monet user interface. So you do get colors which are very very similar to what your wallpaper is so we'll quickly go ahead and maybe try to first change the wallpaper and see if anything changes because uh yeah monet is something that is still not available on miui it is available on the vivo's fun touch os but not on many other operating systems so let's quickly change the wallpaper here okay and let's see if real-time monitor is present or not. Oh, well, yes, I think it works. I'll, I'll, I'll love to try that once again. So what Monet UI basically does is it'll give you a color to your entire user interface, which is very similar to what you are already, you know, having on your wallpaper. So let's see here. Let me try. Um, yeah, let's go green. Let's hit apply on both. Okay, let's hope the UI turns green. Not exactly. So sometimes it changes and sometimes it doesn't, but that's not something to worry about because we can cover that in the complete review. So let's quickly go to settings. Let's go to maybe about phone and see what all information is mentioned over here. So if you go to my device, you have MIUI SR Quark Edition mentioned over here. All specifications, you have 6 plus 2 GB of RAM, octa-core processor. Security update is unfortunately the 5th of October 2022. So that is something there. And this is definitely a beta version. You do have always on display. Uh, let's actually see how always on display works. So let's put it to always. And uh, yeah, how much justice does it do? Yeah, it works pretty well, but yeah, the entire panel is going to stay awake. So it will definitely eat into your battery life. I'm quickly going to increase the battery life. Uh, I'm quickly going to increase the brightness for you guys here. I think you can see it much better now, right? So let's see. I mean, apart from this, you have wallpaper and personalization. That is pretty standard how it comes on previous MIUI versions, always on display, fingerprint, face unlock, everything should be working as expected. I don't see a additional, oh, there you go. MIUI SR customizations. Now, these are the menus where these custom ROMs will, you know, separate themselves from stock ROMs. The UI restarted here, I don't know why. 
So let's quickly go and unlock the device once. All right, now before we proceed, I would like to share something. Something really happened and the phone sort of locked on me. So I had to do a hard restart. But after the restart, I do notice that the UI is now green. So it was probably setting something up in the background, not necessarily a bug. But if you go to MIUI SR customizations, you have switch control, you have MIUI 13 stock control, monitor on control center, monitor system apps. So you can choose the type of colors you want. Show player, smart hub, control center mods are present over here. There you go. A ton of options. We will probably cover that in the complete review if you decide to, you know, we decide to make a complete review for this one. But just look at the amount of customization options that you have over here. I will definitely cover this in the complete review because this section itself deserves a good two to three minutes of explanation as to what exactly is the type of customization that is available. But apart from this, this ROM looks to be pretty solid, pretty promising. And let's actually go to display over here and see we are on 160 or 20. So if you go to refresh rate, custom we are on 120 already and we do have 90 hertz as well so that's a good thing you know 90 hertz gives you the best of both worlds it gives you good battery life and good smoothness as well to the left i think you will have app vault and as far as the launcher is concerned let's see what launcher we have over here we will have system launcher right so home screen is it the poco launcher Wow, whatever launcher it is, it has a lot of customizations. So one thing is for sure for the MIUI SR version that we are using over here, that it does have a ton of customizations. The initial impressions are pretty smooth, pretty rock solid. Even if you go to the camera application, I believe this camera application is the Leica camera application. So they've made that change as well. Now you guys need to let me know in the comment section if you want me to use this for a couple of days as my personal device on this ROM and give you guys a complete review. Of course, during that duration, I will also play Apex Legends on this and try to give you a gaming review. Or even better, let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a live stream with this device running this ROM and Apex Mobile. This was the first look and install guide for MIUI SR's latest version for the POCO X3 Pro. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this one. I'll see you in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.